Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, please press, press the subscribe button. In this SOLIDWORKS flow simulation tutorial, we will analyze the flow through orifice. So first of all, we will see what is orifice and what is the principle of orifice and why we use orifice. When an orifice plate is placed in a pipe carrying the fluid, whose rate of flow is to be measured. Basically, orifice is used to measure the flow rate and to limit the pressure. The orifice plate causes a pressure drop which varies with the flow rate. This pressure drop is measured using a differential pressure sensor and when calibrated this pressure drop becomes a measure flow rate. So how we measure flow rate? We measure flow rate with the pressure drop. So the orifice work on the for knowledge principle as you can see in the diagram. So this small area is showing the outer dia of the orifice plate and this is the inner dia. We will give some velocity and we will analyze the pressure drop and mass flow rate. So this is the diagram or geometry we are going to make in the SOLIDWORKS and we will analyze this in fiber flow simulation. This is our outer dia, this is inner dia and we will this will be our inner velocity and this will be our outer velocity. So how we can measure the outer dia and inner dia there is a formula for outer and inner dia that beta ratio is equal to d by small d by capital D small d is orifice plate dia and the inner dia is this pipe dia so this should be between 0.3 to 0.75 so we are going to use 10 cm of inner outer dia and 20 centimeter of inner dia it will be 0.5 so it is in the range of this value so let's start so first of all we are going to make the geometry and then we will do the parametric study of this geometry on cyber flow simulation so watch the complete video first of all select this front plane go to sketch and Make the dia of 20 centimeter and 12 centimeter radius. So we will extrude it to 150 centimeter and make it the mid plane. Select OK. Now again select front plane, go to sketch and make the dia of 10 centimeter. like this go to extrude again select mid plane and extrude it to one centimeter or two centimeter like this and select ok so our geometry is ready as you can see in the section view like this so this one is our small dia this is our larger dia so select OK. Now what we will do is because the solver flow simulation works on the watertight model, we will create leads to close the inlet and outlet. So go to SolidWorks add-in, enable SolidWorks flow simulation, select flow simulation from here and select this create leads. Now select this planar surface and this planar surface. Select OK. So now our leads have been made. We can apply the boundary condition to these leads. Select wizard. First of all, we have to save this part. <coughs> now we will select wizard. If you want to rename your project, you can rename it from here flow through orifice select next if you want to change the system units you can change from here so there are two types of analysis I have explained in the previous videos we have internal and external analysis internal analysis is used for the pipes and other tubing so we are going to use internal analysis for here and we will enable the gravity 
in the minus y direction like next and from here you can add the liquids or the type of fluid you want i have add liquid water select next select next and select finish from here so this boss is showing our computational domain we will increase our computational domain because our analysis will only work in the computational domain so you have to make sure that your geometry should be in the computational domain so now our computational domain is ready now we will apply boundary condition so our first boundary condition is at this inlet select other and select weight from here and apply inlet velocity of 10 mm per second you can change the inlet like if you want to add mass flow you can add mass flow from here or outlet velocity from here like ok now I am going to add the environmental pressure at this lid again go to inner boundary condition select this lid and apply the environmental pressure at the pressure opening step select ok now from here you can insert the global goals I, I want total pressure at maximum and minimum and average I want to add velocities I want to add mm -hmm. flow rate and mass flow rate you can add any global goal of your required result select ok now from here I am going to define the global mesh I am going to refine it a little bit. If you want to see the mesh, you can click from here. So basic mesh. If you want to manually apply the mesh, you can apply it from here. Select OK. Now we will simply run the active project, and after that, we will see how we can use parametric study for this analysis. So mesh generation have been finished and our solver has been ready you can see that the velocity is increasing at this area the uh, area of the orifice plate if you want to see this image real time upgradation you can go to insert select preview from here and you can add any plane and you can add any plane or controls you want to add like if I want to see the pressure, I will select it and select OK. So now you can see that at this area, this is our upstream pressure and this is our downstream pressure. So our pressure is decreasing, this orifice plate is limiting the pressure. So our solver is finished. You can analyze the goals of maximum and minimum from here or list of goals from here and now what we will do is we are going to add flow trajectories to analyze our results go to flow trajectories select insert and from here we will select the starting point of flow trajectories which is which is this lead one select this lead one and it will show the number of lines or number of points I am going to give from here we will select the lines for the good representation of flow trajectories and from here we will select the pressure or velocity of or any result you, we want select ok so our flow trajectories have been made but they are not showing so to show we will go to display slabs we will go to display style and we will select wireframe so now you can see we can analyze the flow trajectories and see the result so if you want to play it or animation you can right click on it and select and play so you can see that at this area upstream pressure it is the uh, pressure is maximum and after 
after this rf is played the pressure is limiting and the velocity is increasing according to the bernoulli principle so now let's see how we can add the parametric study right click on this uh, project you have made select new parametric study after selecting new parameter you have these tables so first table is of input variable second is of output parameters so in input vari in input variable we will add so we will add the boundary conditions like inlet velocity i have i will see the pressure drop on various inlet velocities i will select this and select and check this tab and select okay now our input variable have been added we can add the variation like we will see it on 12 meter per second we can see it on 15 meter per second select okay so our input variable have been adjusted now we will go to output parameter or goals we want from these velocities so our goal is to add the average total pressure or maximum minimum and mass flow rate select okay and from here you can add the flow trajectories you have added before select okay so after that we have in scenario we have three design points and we can simply see the results on these design points we can we have we don't have to make the analysis again and again so we will just run this study and we'll see the desired results accordingly so our first design point have been solved and we can see the mass flow rate from here now our system is calculating design point 2 which is the velocity at 12 meter per second we can see the real time upgradation from here So now you can see that our three design points have been calculated and we have analyzed the different results on different velocities with just one click. So this is the benefits of parametric study. So we can export these to Excel to make the graphs to differentiate between these points. So thank you for watching. Keep supporting and keep sharing our channel.